Desmond Hall, and as the shadows thicken and envelop the ancient parapets and towers, the shadow of death again follows Jean Paul Desmond. For try as he may to protect the innocents who have become involved in his dark fate, he cannot combat the forces which struggle against him. Quito, the faithful, the powerful servant, has fled from the secret chamber which had to protect him, and John Paul stands alone before the powers which work towards his destruction. hardly noticed. Oh, and Holly, call me Emily. Of course, Emily. You need some light. You know, these books about the Desmond family are so full of material. I almost feel as if they're speaking to me. I'm hardly reading at all. As a matter of fact, I almost feel enchanted this evening. My roses. Hmm. You know, I think your roses are partly to blame. They're really quite overpowering. I'm so alive. Have you touched them? Yes. When Jean Paul was putting one in my hair. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the effect they have on me. <laughs> Any moment you might find me prancing about with a rose between my teeth. Holly? What is it? This flower. It's dead. Some that's the one that Jean Paul meant for me. We dropped it. How sad. I hate to see it die. No one was where to wear these flowers except Jean Paul. I gave him one. You had no right to touch them. Oh. Oh, Jean Paul! Jean Paul! a wealth of words. My treasure, Philip Desmond. Come in. Sorry to disturb you, Emily, but it's uh, past working time. Oh, that's all right. I was almost finished anyway. Good. Emily, is something the matter? Uh, no, no. Holly was in here, and, and well, she was very upset. I don't understand, but she... Well, she accused us, you and I. She said we killed one of her roses. And she said that, that 
Well, what did she say? That you should be punished. Holly's not been quite herself. She lost her mother, and she's been through some pretty terrible times. But I think slowly, slowly, and with a great deal of patience from all of us, from all of us, you understand? Yes. Now, if she was upset over the death of a rose, <laughs> well, I'm sure she'll realize how silly that is. Oh, besides, Irene had her. If we'd let her, would shower us all with roses until we were at the point of suffocation. <laughs> you look a little upset. How about some uh, sherry? Oh, thank you. I'd like that. Uh, Jean-Paul? Mm-hmm? Is there at Desmond Hall a North Tower? Yes, it's in the wing opposite the one in which you are sleeping. A very cold one it is, too. The north wind always buffets the north tower. It's very bleak. <laughs> I know that because as a boy, I used to camp out there. Oh, regular Spartans we were, my brother Philip and I. Jean-Paul, what if I were to tell you that I almost felt that Philip Desmond was trying to reach me? I would say that uh, your study of Desmond folklore is becoming intoxicating to you. And I think it's better if you thought about something else. But you think about it. Do I? Yes. And I'm sure that's why you've been so sad and distracted lately. Emily, with you, I am neither sad nor distracted. That's not true. Jean-Paul, won't you let me help you? Help me to do what? To find Philip. Jean-Paul, I've been searching all over for you. He's not wearing the flower I gave you for your buttonhole. Here, I'll get you another one. Emily likes these flowers. She told me so. But I'm afraid I must be rude and say they're only for you. You don't mind, do you, Emily? No. Here, you must wear this. Holly, Emily said that you were upset with me. Upset? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, are you sure? Yes, very sure. There. Oh, doesn't he look handsome? Oh, Jean-Paul has such exciting plans for this evening. Oh, excitement here? We need some. We could all use some relaxation after a very trying day. Trying days? I don't want to hear one word about trying days. I've been into town talking to certain people about Quito. What about Quito? Jean-Paul, you know. He's been accused of the death of that girl. Falsely, I'm sure. I'm glad you're sure, my dear. May I join you in some sherry? Certainly. Your home is mine. I'm uh, sure you've been making attempts on Quito's behalf, or was it on Quito's behalf? Naturally. Poor soul. He couldn't kill anyone, purposely. But accidentally? Oh, you must understand my meaning, Jean-Paul. However, the mood in town has turned very ugly. I'm afraid there's very little we can do for him. I think there's a great deal that we can do for Jean him. Jean-Paul, we have to talk about sad things and death. Can't we be happy just for tonight, all of us? <laughs> all right, we can. And we shall. Now, what shall we do? Oh, I'm uh, tired. I... Then you must go to bed. No, oh, this early? I won't hear of it. Holly, what are your plans? Well, I don't think I can tell you yet. Holly. In a moment. I mean, I think I can tell you all in a moment. Here's the key that you asked for. The key for the North Tower. Oh, thank you. Now we can roam every parapet to the highest ledge over the river. Holly, you don't realize how dangerous that is, especially at night. Oh, but it would be so much fun to see the lights of Desmonton down below. How disappointing. I was hoping for a game of hide-and-seek at least. <laughs> You're not very entertaining, Court. What the young lady suggests is very dangerous. I myself do not have such sporting blood. You, of course, may join in if you wish, Jean-Paul. Holly, I think another time when the light is better. Oh, Jean-Paul, how can you? Well, I gave you the rose, especially for that occasion. That rose signifies adventure. 
Oh, she gave you a rose, did she? I see I do not rate, not at all. Ah, oh, well, I suppose up to bed. Uh, Jean-Paul, if you don't mind, I am tired. Well, that makes three of us. The three of us. <laughs> Holly, I can't. It's... Master! Master! Right so! Master, Peter was gone. How? I don't know. I went in to bring him his dinner, and the room was empty. I know. I let him go. Oh, oh quite by accident. <laughs> We've got to find him. Laszlo, Holly, come with me. We've got to find Quito. Holly, come with me. Court, you search the grounds. Looks like we're going to have that game of hide-and-seek after all. <laughs> Do you know where Quito is? No, why should I? Well, you let him go. Oh, it was an error on my part. Where was he hiding? In a secret place. Where was that secret place? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret place. Could it... Could it be anywhere near the North Tower? Miss Blair, your interest in the Desmond family is coming to dangerous proportions. And it's so unnecessary. As I told you, our life is dull. Very dull. Within there lies a wealth of words. My treasure, Philip Desmond. If you wait for me, Keto, you must trust me. Haven't I always been kind to you? Then you must stay here and not make a sound. Look, I'll give you my amulet to hold. You can hold it against the light of the window, the stars shine. It'll make you feel so warm and good, as if nothing could ever hurt you. Here. Take it. There. Now you stay here and don't make a sound so the others won't know. Because, Quito, I must stay close to Jean Paul for a time. We will search for you, like playing a game. On the towers, on the roofs on the ledges.
anywhere. He's a stupid fellow. If the townspeople find him, it's his own fault. He has never disobeyed me before. I can't understand this. He wasn't outside. Did you look thoroughly? Well, as thoroughly as anyone can look in the dark. Court, I am holding you personally responsible for this. You turned him loose. Now, why? Believe me, cousin, it was mere coincidence. I opened the door and Kido saw me and rushed out in a rage. In a rage? You don't think he's killed again in Edmonton? He has never killed. I wish you didn't have so many secrets, cousin. You see, if you had told me that Kido was in the room, I wouldn't have opened the door accidentally. Secrets, yes. Where is this secret room? Why is it I've never been informed of its existence? Because you're not a Desmond. It's between Jean-Paul, Philip and me. It is Laszlo. This is Philip's private room. Now, he showed it to court. That was his own choice, but I don't have the right to show it to anyone. Very well, then. You may hunt for Keto yourself. Since I am not a member of this household, I will say good night. Good night, stepfather. Good. One day I will turn my attention to you. Whatever that means, he's a man of many threats. Did you search those grounds thoroughly? Well, I went as far as the cliffs, and I certainly wasn't going to leap off in dedication, unless you wanted me to. Of course. Listen, why do you want to make me an enemy when I'm willing to be your friend? I don't need friends. My plans don't involve friends. Laszlo was right. I think you'd better continue this search alone. Court? Holly, where is she? I thought she was with you. No. The last time I saw her, she was... She was near the, the North Tower, outside the secret room door. should never have come in here. Oh, I know. But he mentioned books. Those books. And then while everybody was gone away looking for Keita, I came in here alone. In here, Court. Emily. You have no business in here. She knows, she knows. What have you done with it? The skeleton! You shan't escape. Don't you know that in this house you will not escape? by the river. Go now. Quickly, before it is too late. Run, run, go. Find Philip. Find Philip. Hello? I heard a 
heard shouts. Is anyone here? Kito! Kito! Kito, that's the thing for you! Kito! Kito! What happened? He knocked me down. I tried to stop him. Kito! Kito! He's gone. He... I've got to find him! Kito! Kito, it's me, Holly. Are you here? Kito? Irene, I tried again, and I failed. But it will happen. Jean-Paul will die. Mm -hmm.